What's up YouTube? You're watching the Sean Nicholas channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I display my Hot Wheels on the wall. I'm gonna show you guys where to get the dividers, how to install it, why I like it, and also, I'm gonna show you guys what protector case I use so I can pop it off and I can pop it right back on without having to remove every single car. How convenient is that? So stay tuned. All right, first off, let's go over the material that you're gonna need to get these Hot Wheels up on the wall. The first thing you're gonna need is a staple gun. Second thing you're gonna need is a flathead or a hammer or something to push those staples down in so they're smooth so your Hot Wheels don't get ruined when you slide the card down. Um, third thing you're gonna need is the divider, of course. Where do you get them? You get them at Home Depot. That's right. Where do you find them? In the molding section at Home Depot. Um, they go for $3.48 for an eight foot long section so you can cut it up, use however much you want. How cool is that? Um, Fourth thing that you might need, which you don't really need, but it makes it look a lot cleaner, is they have an end piece here as well. Um, that's $3.48 for an eight foot long too. You can put this at the end of your display so it looks a lot smoother so there's not two dividers on each side. All right, so now you got all the materials you need to get this job done. Before we get started, I wanna show you guys exactly what protector case I used on this wall so I can pop it right off just like this and show people a certain car um, without having to slide every single car up and off just to get one car out. Um, it's very convenient. I can just pop it out just like that. They slide up and down very well with the dividers. Um, the case that I use, you can find on Amazon, these protector cases. Um, a 48 pack goes for $59 and the 120 pack goes for $129. It is the Sterling protector case. And you can find it on Amazon, like I said, and they're very sturdy, very strong. They got this little uh, divider slider right here that you can just pop it right in and they move up and down. It's very nice. This is probably the thickest plastic protector case that I could find. It does a very good job. So let's get started on putting these dividers up, shall we? Um, I got this car culture right here that I want to get put on the wall. Right now, I have some main lines right here as you can see on the wall i want to get this removed and put the car culture up so let's go ahead and get these main lines removed and get this car culture up So I made the mistake of using double-sided tape and I want to prevent you guys from doing that. That's why I said to use a staple gun. Um, if you use double-sided tape, what's going to happen is all that paint is going to lift up with that double-sided tape and remove the paint from your wall. Um, the best way to put these dividers up is with the staple. If you look right here, the double-sided tape that I used the first time around attached that paint right to that double-sided tape and ripped it right off the wall. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you're using staples or maybe even nails. All right, so I got all that double-sided tape removed from the divider and also those staples. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Come on over here. You're going to take whatever car you're going to put up, slide it into the divider like this. And if you don't have anything up yet, you can just staple one up, one of the dividers up, and then take your next divider, uh, slide the car in there, and what you're going to do is slide this divider right in there and uh, use your card as a measurement. So you're going to slide it up, put some more staples in, start off down here and do it every so often. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start with the bottom here. We got the car in there. Sometimes you don't want to get it too tight because then it'll just be kind of hard to uh, slide the uh, card up and down. And you don't want it to be hard on it because... Um, that might damage your card, so you want to keep it a little loose. So I like to just push it away a tad bit. Take the staple gun, and uh, sometimes it'll be a little hard to staple and do it. But voila, just like that. And then you want to take that flathead screwdriver I mentioned earlier and just kind of push it in a little bit, just like that. And that's going to keep it flush. So when you slide your card up and down, it's not going to run into it and uh, possibly damage your card. So let's go ahead, and I'll keep moving up, and I'll show you guys how I do it right up here. I think another one would be good right here. So I'm gonna take that staple gun, go ahead and put another one in. Take that flathead screwdriver, push it down in for desperate measures to make sure that it is uh, not gonna damage my cards. And uh, right here looks like another good spot. Just like that. I'm gonna come back up here in the top and uh, put another one. And then I'm gonna take that flathead and push those last two staples in that I put in. 
just like that. And that's how simple it is. Look, slides nice and freely, just like that. Now you have one of the dividers up and I'm gonna go ahead and do that again on this side um, and just keep going until I can't fit any more cards. Obviously I'm only gonna be able to fit um, one more car culture in there. But what's really nice about this too is the car culture and the Sterling protectors are the same exact size. The job is now completed. We finally got these Carter cars up on the wall. Check it out. The dividers look nice and smooth. You can't see any of those staples there because the car blocks it, so it looks nice and neat. Uh, make sure when you put these dividers in that you don't put them too tight so you can freely move the cars up and down. You can find those dividers at Home Depot for $3.48 for an eight foot long section. You can cut them and use them for whatever length you want. Um, let's go over here and I'll show you you can fit so many main lines in between those dividers. So it's very convenient. If you have a lot of cars and you want to display it on the wall, this is going to be your best option. Also, don't forget, I made a video on how to display loose cars. It's included in the video with the best carry case to purchase. Um, so go ahead and check out that video. If you have any suggestions for this video or a better way to do this, or you've been doing it a different way, let me know in the comments. And if there's anything that you guys have a question about, you want me, want me to make a video on, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. I'm here for you guys. So please like and subscribe.